really want to cry. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also hit that bell notification um, so you won't miss any more videos that I post. If this is your first video of you seeing me, please go watch the rest of them because this video may be very emotional. Um, it touches a lot of things for me, so um, just want to give that disclaimer from the beginning. Um, go look at some other videos and check me out first or stay tuned for the next one so if you read about a title um a lot of has happened since i last posted my video giving a hair update i didn't do anything to it on purpose i know it looks rough but you can see how far it has grown since then um and i'll put how long it's been on the screen um but yeah since then um i we had decided to have another baby it was something i was always nervous about only because miscarriages are the my biggest fear and I'm sorry, I'm nervous. I can't even look at the camera. Um, miscarriages are my biggest fear. And at 25 years old, I've been through a lot. Um, I've had cancer. I have diabetes and just some other things and then now this and it's just a lot emotionally um it's only been a little over a month maybe a month and a week since this all happened but if you don't know what I'm talking about on February 25th 2020 I had my first miscarriage I was one day short of being 10 weeks oh I didn't think I was gonna do this I'm trying so hard not to cry um I was one day short of 10 weeks and um I was home alone um, just retracting from the beginning, um, this happened on a Tuesday, on the Saturday before I noticed some very light bleeding, um, and I was like, oh, it's probably just, um, my implantation bleeding, because I hadn't gotten it yet, um, and then it got darker, and I was concerned, and I was just like, I'll just wait on my appointment. I have an appointment Tuesday. I'll just go to my appointment. And if something's wrong, I'll find out then. I can't, you know, keep worrying. Um, Sunday night, I was on my way home. Well, before I was on my way home, I noticed I was cramping a little bit. And I was like, am I having my period? Like, I've heard of some women actually having an actual period. Um, on their on being pregnant I've heard of people actually having their period while being pregnant so I was like Tuesday is right around the corner I'm just gonna rest and hopefully I feel better I'll go to work in the morning the pain got worse that night and I couldn't sleep and then um, TMI I got diarrhea and I was scared of pushing too hard that I was gonna, you know, you know, move the baby out, you know, <laughs> just things in my head. Um, so I had really bad diarrhea. And so I started looking up the symptoms and it came back as being symptoms of a miscarriage. And I was like, 
just I need to get through Monday and then you know I'll go to work Monday Tuesday morning go to my appointment and then I'll work Tuesday afternoon um, Monday the pain got worse to the point I was like crying at work um, I was getting lunch with a friend and I was like I feel like I'm gonna end up in the hospital because this pain is just so unbearable and you know when you're pregnant the only thing you could take is Tylenol with the acetaminophen in it and I try not to even take any medication um, but I did and which I did throughout my whole first pregnancy so I don't think that was something that contributed to it um, so then I went upstairs and the pain got worse and I told my manager that I I'm going I'm gonna go to the doctor or the hospital the pain is just too unbearable to the point like I'm in tears and I don't I can't function and everyone was just like keep me updated so I sat in the car and then it was like the pain would start and then it would stop and then it would start and then it would stop but I never knew which I found out later that I was contracting um, so I ended up just calling my doctor eventually got a hold of someone they was like come on in we can check you out we'll you know fit you in whatever I'm like maybe seven minutes away from the hospital from my job so I was like cool I'm on my way I'm in my car now I'm about to pull off I get there the pain is still bad I'm trying to talk to my mom on the phone she's trying to calm me down and I'm just trying to breathe and I notice I'm like breathing as if I'm contracting and everyone kept just saying oh no they're cramps they're cramps they're cramps my doctor did a examination of it. she didn't see anything um, she said she think it was implantation bleeding and I had an ultrasound they said they didn't see where any of the blood was coming from so she sent me home she was like you have an appointment tomorrow with their training on high risk pregnancy so maybe they'll see something that we don't see or and the, but the pain get worse we want you to go ahead and go into the go to the um hospital so i tried to go to the hospital that night and they didn't have any room for me um so about time i went through triage and waited like almost until like midnight I went at like 8 and I waited till like midnight and and still never got a room so I ended up going home and just dealing with the pain at home um, next day I felt fine got to my doctor's appointment they never rescheduled it for that morning they still had it for a different day they was like we can fit you in I told them what I was feeling what I was going through as soon as I started to have the ultrasound I got in a lot of pain like a lot a lot of pain and it was like the worst I've ever felt it so I talked to my high-risk doctor which I know him um, and he was just making me laugh and making me feel comfortable and he was like, like um, for those of you that don't know I had um, like I said at the beginning I had stage 4 cancer which ate at, ate at my pelvic my ribs my my bloodstream and my spine and my brain and so i still had spots on my ribs and my pelvic where the cancer ate away from it so he was concerned that my body wasn't strong enough yet to carry a baby he says i don't see where any blood is should be coming from but i think your body's preparing to miscarry and i'm just like okay this is it and I'm just like okay um I'm sorry I was like this is not gonna happen I'm gonna go and leave I'm staying home I don't know care what do I have to do I'm I don't care what I have to do. I'm not miscarrying. I'm not getting out of bed. I'm going like I'm going home and getting to bed, which I did. And so my mom, my husband, and my daughter left to go eat dinner um, with some family, and I at that point still had really bad diarrhea, and I was going, you know, a lot off more often than I was at first, which was scary, and so. Um, a lot of TMI I was sitting there and I just felt like my vagina opened 
and I was like, it's happening, and I'm like, it can't, this cannot happen, and so I know some pregnant people feel like, um, they feel like a rubber band pops inside of him, after, like, all this time, I realized it was the rubber band popping, but nothing had came out yet, so I came in my room, I laid in bed, and the pain was just really unbearable, so I was starting to call my husband, but I couldn't because it just hurt so bad. And then I was laying on my right side, and I went to basically open my legs like this to turn over on my left. And as soon as I went from my right and opened up my legs, a whole gush of water just came out, and I called him finally. I was like, I think my water broke. And so I stand up and I feel this, the sack that the baby's in start to come out. I know if I see a baby, I am going to either faint or I'm going to lose it. And I know I need to get to the hospital. So I grab my towel, shove it between my legs. He's on his way. I didn't think he was going to make it in time. He ended up actually beating us to the hospital. I called 911 and... Um, they had me, you know, go unlock both doors because I didn't know what door they were going to come in and do some forms of exercises on myself with my fist, um, on my stomach to try to control the bleeding. Um, they ended up examining me, getting me in the ambulance, and getting me to the nearest hospital. Um, you know, gave him all of my information, and I, at that moment, that's when I realized I was having contractions. Um... So I get to the hospital, and I know she didn't mean any harm, but she just comes in, and she just grabs my hand, and she just, like, oh. And she's, like, rubbing my arm and stuff, and I'm just losing my mind. And so I try to tell my husband, I'm like, I'm here. Um, come on in the back. Let them know I need you. And... They gave me this medication, which made me so delu delusional um, and crazy, um, but it had calmed me down for like an hour, but after that I couldn't stop crying. It was just like, my worst fear had happened, and I didn't know how to feel. I couldn't process anything. I didn't... <laughs> I still, to this day... I don't understand. Like, I never questioned God, but I was just confused, for lack of a better word. Um, so they got everything out of me, examined me, and sent me home to, um, finish getting everything out. I came home and I passed a lot of the tissue, um, as soon as I got home. Um, and then over the course of a week, I've contracted and passed tissue, and things were getting better, but they did an ultrasound. I still had a lot of the tissue. The ba they had took the baby out at the hospital, um, my husband had saw, and they gave me this medicine, which made me contract for, like, two days to push out more of the tissue, which I think it did, because then when I saw my doctor, um... She said she think everything was out, and so um, three days later, I ended up going back to work, and I've been just trying to keep busy. Um, then you know this global pandemic happened, so I've been working from home. Um, I've needed it. I've had a lot of time to understand my feelings, so it's been great. Um, yeah, that's why I've been gone. <laughs> so long I want to get back consistent now that I am working at home um, I have at least three days a week I can record videos I'm not gonna push myself too hard but at least want to put out a video every I say Sunday I want to push out a video every Sunday um, this video I'm recording it on Oh, and this bro, this is where you'll see it flash. Hold on. I 
only time I can cut my phone on. I have to wait for it to flash again. To actually cut it on and then you can see it's broke up there. Um, so I'm recording this on April 1st. Oh! And it's my anniversary today. No April Fools. April 1st. I got married three years ago to my most amazing, lovable, kind husband who's been here for me through all of this. And I don't think without him I would be able to be able to function. And there's some other people in my life that have really been here to talk to me. And I appreciate you guys. You know who you are. I don't want to name names, but... Um, I thank you guys for being here for me. Um, I let my phone go back out. So, yeah, we said it was April 1st, this, and it's on a Wednesday. And I try to edit it either tonight or Thursday or Friday night. Probably not Friday, because Fridays, we gotta get out here and find some food again. Um, or I'll probably do it Saturday. But it'll be up Sunday, so. Um, and then all of the videos that I record starting next Monday. I don't know if I'm going to record the next video next Monday because I have my first psychology appointment. Um, being home and in my thoughts have really let me know I need help. <laughs> I need to see someone. So I'm taking that first step to do that. So, um, but yeah, so I was pregnant had a miscarriage and now I'm working from home um my phone's broke and I'm getting back to YouTube if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and I pretty much answer everybody unless I don't get the notification um my next video may be how to style this because I didn't style it for this video and what I'm doing, it's really simple, easy, be a very short video, but in case you guys want to see. Um, but yeah. So, again, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe before you leave and turn your notification bell on. Like this video because it really helps me out. Leave a comment if you've had a miscarriage and have some word of encouragement. Don't forget to leave it down below and let me know. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Mm-hmm.